Praise the Lord. Praise God in this sanctuary. Praise God in God's mighty firmament. And for God's mighty deeds, praise God. According to God's surpassing greatness. With trumpet sound, with lute and harp, with tambourine and dance, with strings and pipe, with clanging cymbals, with clashing cymbals, praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings and welcome to this service of installation for Jaquan Keandre Beecham. Welcome to this place. I extend a welcome to all who are gathered here because they love Jaquan, which means anybody who's met Jaquan. <laughs> I give special thanks to alums and trustees who are here as part of their celebration of Andover Newton at Yale Divinity School's reunion days and our board of trustees meeting today. I offer a special welcome to Rachel Rausch, Jaquan's mother, And I think I speak on behalf of all parents in this space when I say, what do you have and where can I get some? <laughs> I'd like to also thank the members of the planning committee for this service of installation. And um, as I, I say their name, if they don't mind, I'm just rising where they are to be recognized. Michael Libunal Macalintel. Professor Braxton Shelley. My Associate Dean colleague, Ned Parker. My partner in crime, Tracy Edwards. And alumnus and representative of the Alumni Board, Board Chair, Laura Kisthart. Jaquan. I've never met anybody like you before. And you are very important to me. I feel really fortunate to walk with you on this leg of what I anticipate is going to be a spectacular journey in ministry. Thank you for letting us be a part of this celebration of your gifts. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Enter in, enter in, in. 
God's people enter in, enter in, enter in, all God's people enter in. Let us worship in this holy place, enter in. of Christ be with you. Jaquan, I will ask you to do what you ask us to do at the beginning of every one of your prayers. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. How does one offer an opening prayer for the installation of someone who is themselves a living prayer? I ask again, how does one offer an opening prayer for the installation of someone who is themselves an op- a living prayer? Challenge accepted. Perhaps for the installation of one who is themselves a living prayer, we open in this way. Loving God, may we enter this time with the gentleness of Jaquan. May we enter this time with the joy of Jaquan. May we enter this time committed to justice and reconciliation as Jaquan is committed to justice and reconciliation. May we enter this time with the gratitude that Jaquan expresses so frequently and so generously. May, May we enter this time creatively recognizing your creative spirit present in surrounding and inspiring all of us by Jaquan's creativity. May we enter this time hearing the beautiful laughter of our colleague Jaquan as a sweet 
hymn of praise to you, O God. May we enter this time celebrating the sacred moment of installation, formalizing and blessing the ways in which Jaquan already has, is, and will continue to minister, not just to students, but to all of us. Hashtag Jaquan is my pastor. Loving God, we need not ask for your spirit to be present in this place because the spirit of the living God is present in all places. Instead, we call ourselves to attention. We call ourselves and each other to be attentive to the movement of your Holy Spirit here. With grateful, expectant, open hearts, O God, we ask that this time be infused with that Holy Spirit. May it be so. Amen. Good evening. I'm going to read the scripture from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known by God, to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Thank you. We at Yale Divinity School have a beloved colleague, Professor Danielle McCray, who teaches a class called, Is It a Sermon? Is it a sermon? Is it a sermon? And it was with that question in mind that our planning committee discussed what kind of sermon or what kind of preacher could embody a person whose spirituality is so embodied as Jaquan. Jaquan is um, multi-talented, an excellent preacher by conventional standards, but also preaches with so many different media that we thought that our way of expressing in this service of installation some reflection of Jaquan's personality and values and gifts and aspirations for an embodied ministry would be to have a multi-sensory sermon. So if you think that what's about to happen is some variety of a talent show, you're wrong. Because what is it? It's a sermon. Is it a sermon? It's a sermon. It is a sermon on gentleness and joy that will begin with tangible visual art presented by Tracy Red Edwards, song led by Jairikis Collins, class of 2022, a spoken word offering read by Jamal Davis Neal and written for this occasion by Willie James Jennings, Can you believe I was able to keep that to myself until (laughs) go me, go me. And from a presentation of dance by a whole bunch of people. Okay. I now invite for this sermon to begin with Tracy Red Edwards. (laughs) 
Jaquan, today I rejoice with you and hope that the memory of this evening will serve to remind you of just how beloved you are. May you continue to recall Philippians chapter four, verses four through nine during times of uncertainty. And please don't stop doing the things that you have learned, received, heard, and seen, knowing that the God of peace will be with you today and always. On behalf of the ANS Senior Leadership Team, I will in a moment present you with a visible and tangible gift of a glass blown heart that is engraved with JKB-ANS-YDS to show you that you belong here. As the Director of Community Development and Spiritual Formation who began during a pandemic that we all thought would be over by now, you have held this community as we've emerged, provided us with creative spaces for gathering, and thoughtfully planned events and programs so that everyone, students, staff, and faculty feel a sense of belonging here on the quad. I am truly blessed to be able to share this space with you. Thank you for your friendship and service to our community. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. All right. One thing we know about Jaquan is that Jaquan likes to have church. Amen. So I need y'all to act like you came just to celebrate the Lord, celebrate Jaquan while we praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I want you to stand in body and in spirit. Amen. As we sing this congregational number, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Just, just follow us if you don't know the words and just get with the groove. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, we're going to get in the groove tonight. Amen. Amen. So it says, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad, oh, oh. This is the day that the Lord. Come on, I will rejoice. Oh, this is. Now, like one big cry. Come on, everybody. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord. Come on, we came to rejoice. I will rejoice. Oh, and be glad in it. Oh, oh, oh. I will rejoice. You sound wonderful.
Jaquan, you are number one, the only one. Don't even waste your time trying to compete. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of Beyonce lyrics. Anyway, to one of the people who were one of the first to open their arms wide to bring me into this community, I feel so, so honored. So honored to speak these words by my advisor, my teacher, Dr. Willie James Jennings, made just for you, just for tonight. I know it's hard after the praise that we just had, but I wanna invite you all in a posture of reception. Hear the words that I'm saying, feel them deeply, and know that they are just for today, just for us. This is called The Weight of Gentleness. I bear the weight of gentleness for the many. This light load contains that deafening anger, quietly aimed indiscriminately at inward parts. The thorn-crusted doubts dangling from tongues that tear the flesh of any passerby. The moments when fear floods a decision, pulling it out to an uncertain sea. The repeated refusal of the many to sometimes forgive. When I strain under the light burden of your patience with the many, my muscles quivering under the load of your goodness, I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers. I measure the strength of the wind against my face, engage the firmness of the dirt, the wideness of the stones between my toes. Then, with my bare feet, I make the motions of mercy. I bend my knees as if preparing to pray and quickly lunge upward toward the air, music rising higher and bending lower rising higher and bending lower until I know in my dancing bones and my painted hands the strength to endure nothing less than your joy. so much to thank God for so many wonderful blessings and so many open doors a breath Sunshine 
of a brand new day. Oh, in mercy, I love with each new day. That's why I praise you. Oh, What am I supposed to do?
For the one who has made me a better minister and pastor, I would not be here without you, my friend. You'll have to forgive me. The Catholic is about to come out, so buckle up and... You're damn right. Will you join me in prayer, my friends? We did not have to be, but we are. For out of love, you desired us. Out of joy, you created us. And out of gentleness, you guide us. O oh, gentle creator, we come to you this evening to celebrate and commemorate the installation of your beloved child, the Reverend Jaquan Keandre Beecham. We come to you to not only celebrate, but to confirm what you have already known to be true. You who have knit us, you who have inscribed onto us, you who, as gentle as the morning wind, breathed us into existence. We give thanks for your beloved Jaquan, this practitioner, performer, prophet, and pastor who you have placed in our midst. We give thanks for this beloved community to which you have called him, wherein he can continue to anoint this place with the gentle and joyous heart that you have so placed in their being. We rejoice. Rejoice as John leapt in Elizabeth's womb. Rejoice as the psalmist did, praising you, O oh God, for you have positioned us here in this time and place to be companions on Jaquan's everlasting journey of building your beloved community here on earth. My friends, may we be moved by Jaquan's example inspired to lead in and through love, to be tender and temperate in our work, and to be joyous and jubilant in our praise of you. Out of gentleness, may we be holy witnesses. Out of joy, may we praise all aspects of your creation. And out of love, may we be vessels of your good and holy work. In the name of the one who is love, praise, tenderness, and so much more, we pray. Amen.
Ready to do some business, Reverend Beecham? I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, the head of the church in heaven and on earth. We now enter the rite of installation into this ministry setting. Jaquan Keandre Beecham has accepted a four-point call between Jaquan's self, our school, Jaquan's home congregation, Spring Glen United Church of Christ, and the New Haven Association of the Southern New England Conference of the United Church of Christ. God has gathered us in this hour, and we give thanks for the bonds of covenant that unite us. Yale Divinity School recognizes Andover Newton Seminary as its partner on the quad. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, Andover Newton, a covenanted seminary of the United Church of Christ, has called Jaquan Keandre Beecham as its Director of Community Development and Spiritual Formation. On behalf of Andover Newton Seminary and Yale Divinity School, we respectfully request that the New Haven Association of the Southern New England Conference of the United Church of Christ install Jaquan into spiritual leadership in our school according to the faith and order of the United Church of Christ. The New Haven Association has reviewed the request of Andover Newton Seminary at Yale Divinity School. We have prayerfully examined Jaquan and declare that he has met all the necessary conditions for installation to this office. We are pleased to install him as your leader in worship and your spiritual teacher. Jaquan, servant of God, we invite you to come forward as a sign of your acceptance of this call. Installation is the action of an association of the United Church of Christ in cooperation with the local church. Installation confirms and celebrates the covenantal relationship among the local church, its pastors and teachers, and the United Church of Christ. Installation is a sign that these covenantal partners are committed to share mutually in the mission of the United Church of Christ and the ecumenical church. Hear now these guiding words from the Apostle Paul. We beg you, beg you, brothers, sisters, siblings, to pay proper respect to those who work among you, who guide and instruct you in the Christian life. Side note, I don't think I have to beg you that hard. <laughs> Treat them with the greatest respect and love because of the work they do. Be at peace among yourselves. We urge you, our siblings, warn the idle, encourage the timid, help the weak, be patient with all. See that no one pays back wrong for wrong. But at all, all times, make it your aim to go, do good to one another and to all people. All people. Be joyful. Always. Pray at all times. Be thankful in all circumstances. That is what God wants of you as you live the way of Jesus. Jaquan, seeing that you are called to ordained ministry by the grace of God and that the United Church of Christ has been led to call you as pastor and teacher, are you willing to enter this four-point call that includes you, your congregation, Spring Glen, United Church of Christ, Andover Newton Seminary at Yale Divinity School, and the New Haven Association 
If so, please say, I am willing. Members of this gathered community, will you rise in body or in spirit and affirm your covenant with your director and teacher? Do you, supporters of Jaquan and their ministry, receive Jaquan as minister of the gospel? If so, please say, we do. Do you promise? Do you promise? Do you promise to give him due honor and support in his ministry? If so, please say, we do relying on God's help. Having made these promises to God and to Jaquan, I now invite the gathered community to repeat after me. By the grace of God, God, Jaquan is worthy. worthy. Let us install Jaquan. Before we lay on hands, let us pause for a moment of prayer. But since this is a communal covenant, and since uh, our leader here is a collaborative leader, this is a collaborative prayer. I want you all to take a moment and think one word to describe your hope for Jaquan's ministry here. Take a minute. Uh, There are a lot of words, I'm sure. See if you can find that one. Yeah, call them out. Let's hear it. Love. Love. What was it over here? Authenticity. Thriving. Thriving. Joy. Courage. Wisdom. Fruit. Beautifully. Impact. Generosity. Sparkle. Sparkle. Yeah, everybody give me sparkle. Sparkle praise. There we go. Gentleness. Liberation. Liberation. Worship. Leadership. Peace. Peace. Happiness. Transformation. Transformation. Acceptance. Acceptance. Legacy. Legacy. Mm, That's a word. Innovation. Beauty. Polyphony. Polyphony. Ooh, there's theology right there. Her abundance. Beautiful. Let us now join our hearts in the spirit of prayer. God, for all these words spoken and unspoken, may they be heard, may they be felt. May they feed you, Chukwan. May they feed this gathered body. May the students and the student body frustrate you and challenge you and trust you. And may you all come together into worship in this space every week and find some spark of joy, beauty, and liberation as you prepare these ministers amongst your beautiful staff and form them as they form you that we might make a bigger brighter, bolder, more loving church in Jesus Christ's model. And so we pray with ever-expanding hope in your ministry, Chiquan. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare before this school this association, this congregation, and all these people of God, that you are duly recognized, Jaquan Keandre Beecham, as this community's minister.
The laying on of hands is an ancient biblical tradition that is an act of prayer, blessing, and commissioning. Our participation in the laying on of hands serves as a reminder to Jaquan that ministry is done in community. We rely on colleagues both near and far, friends both near and far, family members, and the wider community. We all help to support ministry and support Jaquan's ministry. And so at this time, I would invite people as they feel comfortable, we'll start with Jaquan's immediate family and the other members who have participated in the service to come forward first. Um, as you feel comfortable to lay on hands, lay, and then I would invite after, um, I would invite the current students to come forward. You are Jaquan's current congregation. Current students, come on forward. And then everyone else is all welcome as you feel comfortable. Extending hands, put a hand on the person in front of you. And so we invite the Holy Spirit to flow through us as we lay hands on Jaquan. When I say, come Holy Spirit, I want you to repeat after me. Come Holy Spirit. We gather here to offer a blessing for Reverend Jaquan Beecham's ministry here at Andover Newton Seminary at Yale Divinity School. Come lover of the poor, advocate for justice, comforter in sorrow, fresh wind of change. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. We ask a blessing on Jaquan's ministry. Divine creator, grant Jaquan your wisdom, your courage, your power. Let your light and truth continue to shine forth. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. May Jaquan continue to walk and follow in the footsteps of Christ Jesus. God, allow Jaquan's ministry to nourish the people of God in the faith of the gospel. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And we ask that God would continually strengthen Jaquan's faith, help Jaquan through the challenges and difficulties of ministry. Allow the spirit of justice to prosper and the goodness of God be celebrated. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. When the room is already charged up by the Holy Spirit, there is really no further words to say. But being the director of community development and spiritual formation is counter-cultural. You see, we live in a world that is alienated and we want community a world that is often faithless, we need spiritual formation. The context of Paul's epistle to the Philippians is that there was a problem of dissension up between two of the leaders in the church. What else is new? <laughs> the dispute was not inconsequential because it drew Paul's attention and he brought it out to the attention of the whole church. We don't know the subject of the quarrel, but Paul is saying that just because these two were leaders did not exempt them from the rest of the membership to have one soul, one mind, and one body. All the people who make up the end of a Newton Seminary are church leaders. If they were not, they would not be here. Paul, like Paul, you have, Jaquan, the responsibility to curate space for belonging, healing, and reimagination in a setting that often fuel leaders to quarrel. Sometimes you need to admonish them. (laughs) 
Leading in love today is revolutionary because it's not where the world is. People of color are still being killed. We neglect and put people out of sight who are homeless and poor. We are comfortable with our own tribe and fear the stranger. We lobby with those who side with us politically and dismiss those on the other side of the aisle. But when we lead in love, we envision the truth that the Lord is at hand. We will not be victimized by problems inside as well as outside the church. You see, for everything we do at Ann of a Newton Seminary is to prepare people to do ministry in the world in need of peace and love. We need you to reach across the aisle. You will need to be like Paul, who reminds the church to have full confidence of their trust in God so that they can devote time to pray, to give praise and thanksgiving so, so as at the Emmaus gatherings. I love the word gentleness because it is so counter-cultural. It means forbearance, reframing from force, or having patience. When you lead with gentleness, Jaquan, you'll be in tune with the pulse of what is happening in the Sterling Quadrangle. You will have the patience to notice the seeds sprouting and the plants blooming. You will sense the call for social justice and being inter interconnected with the world. And in the Emmaus encounter, you will gently enable seminarians to develop community across cultures, preparing them to become effective servants as global citizens. You see, church leaders today, Jaquan, need the skills to build bridges to become the beloved community. Being gentle will lead seminarians to grow in their roles as pastors and ministers and missionaries. Being gentle nurses flowers to blossom. Being gentle means to follow a recipe turning out delectable dishes. Being gentle gives you the time necessary to color the world with art and music. You will wait for the Lord rather than get in the way because as Paul said, the peace of God will keep your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. You see, in the end of this passage that your mom eloquently read, Paul used himself as a model of virtues. He says this, and I say this to you, my beloved brother Jaquan, you must use yourself as a model too, because whatever is true, you need to speak forthright. Whatever is honorable, your integrity will be known. Whatever is just, you will stand up for justice and reconciliation. Whatever is pure, you will shine light on righteousness. Whatever is pleasing, you will welcome everyone with a smile. And because whatever is commendable, these are the things that are worth celebrating. When you do these things in excellence, these will be worthy of praise. When you keep on doing these things, God's peace will be with you. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. Therefore, I charge you to keep on doing these things. It's counter-cultural. It is revolutionary. Lead in love with gentleness and enjoy. It's the Reverend Jaquan Beecham, the Director of Community Development and Spiritual Formation. Amen.
Yeah. 
glory to God for all of the things. For all of the things. What does one even say? Thank you is not enough. Thank you is not sufficient. May you receive this blessing. I borrow the words of Howard Thurman. As you leave this place, but not God creator's presence, may you go in your authenticity. May you take courage to do your thing. And as Howard Thurman would say, would you take the time to find the thing that makes you come alive? And once you find that thing that comes alive, go and do that. Go and do that, for that is what God knit you together to do. And that is the work in which we are here to bear witness, to support, and lean into with one another as we seek to usher in the kingdom of God in the face of injustice, fear. Let's admonish that together. Go now in peace, beloveds, knowing that you are loved.